Welcome to Beautiful Minds. I'm Gail, if you haven't been here before. Um, today's video is about dreaming and why we dream. Now, dreaming is something that's really important to me. Um, I have very vivid dreams almost every night and have done since I was very young. Um, and when I was about 19 or 20, a friend bought me a dream dictionary. And that was the start of me sort of trying to interpret um, some of my dreams. And as the years went on, I started to realise actually dreams can be really quite meaningful. And in fact, we can use them to help us in our life. Um, and I've been doing that, as I say, since since. 1920 so over 20 years um, I've been looking at my own dreams um, and what they mean um, but as for why we dream the first thing to say is that although some people don't remember their dreams they are dreaming everyone is dreaming and we do it when we're in the deepest um, sort of part of sleep which is rapid eye movement sleep or REM sleep and we're all dreaming uh, at that time whether you remember it or not. Now part of why we dream is to help us to sort out and to file um, all the information that's happened through the day. So if you think about all the input that we take in so that can be you know visually particularly um, but also in other ways our body or our, our, our brain and our dreams are helping us to file through all that information and to sort it out because a lot of that information can just be dumped. We don't need it. You know, if you think about, you know, walking down the street, you know, you may be in your head thinking about things, but you're taking everything in visually. We don't need to keep all that information and our brain um, helps us sort through that and our dreams do as well. And if you think about the sort of, really nonsense dreams that you can have but you can almost say oh I, well I dreamt that because you know that happened yesterday you know I happened to bump into the postman and then the postman appeared in my dream and then the postman was in the cafeteria at work because I was at work yesterday and then you know something else weird happens and you can relate it to maybe a tv program you were watching whatever You're, it's just the brain's way of filing um, and sorting out all that information Sometimes what it's doing is actually helping us process things emotionally. So if you've taken in something and it can be that day or it can be years ago um, that has maybe been a lot to cope with and a lot to process, um, that can come up emotionally for us. And if you've ever woke up crying or woke up with a really strong emotion, and you don't really know why if you can't remember the dream, but you know it's not a feeling you'd normally wake up with, um, that'll be because you've been releasing emotions in your dream. And so what dreams are, are helping is regenerate. You know, there's physical benefits to this and also psychological and emotional benefits to dreaming. Now, our dreams are also a bridge between our unconscious mind and our conscious mind. So, although we may not understand all our dreams, they are speaking to us, they are giving us information. It's just that we don't necessarily speak the language. Um, it comes up a lot uh, in, in symbolism and you need to then interpret and try to understand that to make sense of your dreams. And what you, you can then notice, um, as I say, is this information that's, that's in our unconscious that we're maybe not aware of. The dreams are bringing that up into awareness. And sometimes it can be a sort of light bulb moment. You know, oh, I'm not moving forward in life. Why not? I don't know what's blocking me. And, you know, some fear comes up, you know, from your unconscious inner dream and you, and you realise that. That's just one example. There's lots of examples of the sorts of things that can come up um, in our dreams. But yeah, there's this there's this bridge that allows us to access, you know, our subconscious um, and what's going on in there. Um, and there's a really, you know, rich well of information there that we can tap into if we could just, you know, 
learn how to sort of decipher the, the symbolism that's been shown to us. Um, quite often dreams will reflect what is going on in our daily life, um, both emotionally, um, maybe in our interests or maybe in relationships. But again, that might not be obvious straight away. And so, as I say, your dreams can help you with, you know, current life situations potentially um, as well. So there really are, um, there's a lot of information that's coming up there, even though you might think, you know, it's just, it just seems nonsense or it doesn't make sense. Um, so yeah, that's why we dream. Um, it's, it's helping us regenerate. It's helping us psychologically. It's helping us release emotionally. And it's helping us process all that stuff that comes in through the day. And they're also talking to us and giving us information. Um, we just need to decipher, you know, and translate what that is. So that's today's video. I'm going to do a small series on this because dreams really interest me. Um, and I'll do um, a series on how to remember your dreams if you're someone who, you know, isn't like me, who just remembers most of them. Um, things that you can do to enhance your ability to remember them. Um, we'll also have videos on how you can use dreams to help you heal um, in many different ways. And what I'll also be starting to put up shortly um, is my dream journal. I've kept journals for years now um, and they're obviously in written form. I, I get up and I write down my dreams and I still do that and will be doing that, but I'll also be doing it um, in the form of a vlog. So dream diary vlogs will be coming up daily. Um, as I say, I have dreams every day. Um, so you can follow, you know, what the crazy dreams are, but what the symbolism means and how actually they could make sense. And I'll tell you a bit about, you know, how they make sense in the context of my life. And also a bit about, you know, what I'm then going to do about that. Does that information help me move forward? Does that information just confirm something to me? Or, you know, do I need to maybe take some sort of action? So that'll all be coming up as well. So thanks for being here and I'll see you soon.